Hi, I'm Colleen Tierling and I'm an entomologist with the Maine Forest Service and I work with emerald ash borer. Emerald ash borer is spreading from the southernmost part of the state and the northern, oh, northernmost part of the state where it is established. When you see this kind of woodpecker feeding, it usually is due to emerald ash borer. So wood, when woodpeckers feed on insects in the bark or underneath the bark, they often will flick off the outer bark and this leaves the bright blonde inner bark show, visible. And in ash trees, this becomes a very distinctive pattern and is easy to see as the bright blonde bark shows up against the darker outer bark. If you can peel back the bark enough to see what kind of insect galleries or tracks there are or any insects that are available, you should be able to tell whether it's emerald ash borer or some other species. So emerald ash borer galleries are, are sinuous S-shaped galleries. Um, when there's only one or two emerald ash borer, you can easily see that, that typical S-shaped gallery. When there's a lot of emerald ash borer, they tend to crisscross over each other and you just see a maze of, of galleries. If the woodpeckers are feeding on native bark beetles, which um, overwinter in the bark, the holes usually only go partway down the bark. So if you peel back the bark um, and the hole stops partway through the bark, then you know um, it is not emerald ash borer. So we are not looking for deep woodpecker holes like these pileated woodpecker holes. We're looking more for surface feeding um, just under the bark. When you're out walking in your woodlot in the winter, there are several signs and symptoms of emerald ash borer that you can be looking for. Uh, the woodpecker feeding damage is probably the most common, um, commonly seen one in Maine. But there are also other things like epicormic growth or water sprouts. Uh, we also sometimes will see barks, uh, cracks in the bark. Um, this is because as the EAB feeds underneath the bark, the bark tends to um, dry out and crack. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about emerald ash borer, go to our website. If you are in an area where emerald ash borer is not known to be, if you see any of these signs and symptoms, please give us a call. Thanks a lot for helping us monitor for emerald ash borer.